Are the holidays stressing you out? Do the sounds of carols make you cringe like the sounds of nails on a chalkboard? Do you dread going to the mall in December more than a visit to the dentist? Would you rather lock yourself in a closet for the entire break than actually spend it with your family? But don't worry, the season of giving is almost over. But until then, here are some tips to ease the pain of the holiday spirit. If you haven't bought your gifts yet, you are a top-notch, world-class procrastinator. Christmas is in five days, and if you celebrate Hanukkah well, that ship has sailed. Get off your lazy, gingerbread, cookie-eating butt and just go to the mall already. Enjoy the wonderful gift of family while only ruining a few family bonds this winter. Find some diversional activities to do with your family, like playing board games or video games or watching movies. However, playing Grand Theft Auto or Left for Dead with your impressionable four-year-old cousin is not recommended. And once Aunt Barb starts throwing the Scrabble board and pelting people with fruitcake, everyone in the house should probably take a nap. Play pranks on all your unsuspecting relatives. You'll get a good laugh, and your family will definitely want to stay away from you. Wrap empty boxes, give them to people, and watch their disappointed expressions. Tell the same young and impressionable cousin that the yellow snow tastes like lemonade. Every time Nana wants to go outside, play Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, just to mess with her head. The fling takes no responsibility if you are written out of any wills, though. Let's just hope those Mayans were as wrong as Harold Camping was about the rapture on May 21st, 2011. At this point, if you don't have your underground bunker, or if you haven't been stockpiling good karma, you're pretty much done for. I would suggest taking your last hours and just YOLOing it. Once again, it is a little late to be setting up your menorah, Christmas tree, or festivist decor. What have you been doing since Thanksgiving? Don't even bother trying to set anything up now. A procrastinator like you will probably just put up lights around your house, but won't be bothered to take them down until July. You might as well do something that requires little effort, like setting your phone background to a snowflake, or just driving around in a car looking at everyone else's beautiful, labor-filled masterpieces. The fling actually does wish everyone a happy and healthy Kwanzaa, Christmas, Hanukkah, Festivus, Boxing Day, Winter Solstice, and a wonderful New Year. But then again, why are we even bothering talking about New Year's? The world is going to end tomorrow anyway, so scratch what was said before. We hope everyone has a safe, healthy, and happy Armageddon.